Did y'all get a notification that I'm recording now? Okay, good. <laughs> it's it doesn't really uh, it doesn't. You are recording on my end. Uh, so hi everybody, welcome to Intro to Niche Academy. Um, you are here because we are doing just a uh, a a soft launch little pilot uh, of our SEKLS Niche Academy with the public library directors. Um, if you're here and you're not a public library director and you're not from SEK, uh, you probably won't be receiving a, um, an invitation to join Niche Academy until after we do our full launch. But you are welcome to stay and learn some today. Um, the rest of you, you will be receiving uh, an, an invitation from Niche Academy to create your account this afternoon, uh, shortly after we sign off. I, I would look for it Monday morning, but it'll go out this afternoon. Um, we have some folks from SEK here, which I'm excited about. Um, many of them will be uh, also, hi, Dave, Dave is here. Uh, <laughs> it's very important that, that Dave is here so that um, he can know what's going on with Niche Academy. Um, uh, many of the, the folks here from SEK will be um, eventually contributing uh, lessons and content to our academy to uh, supplement your learning. So things about Seek and Find, things about technology, things about cataloging, all of that will be added. Um, as of right now, we do not have those things up, but we have enough up so that all of you and those who are watching the recording uh, will be able to get in, try things out, do some evaluations. And then after this trial period is over, um, you will receive kind of a, a survey evaluation, you know, feedback uh, form at annual meeting on June 3rd. Um, and when that is completed and we gather that information, we'll be able to do the full launch that will include the rest of our libraries, um, our academic and school libraries, and um, our uh, youth librarians that we serve, that Tammy serves, and uh, eventually our trustees. Now, if there are any trustees here, I do not know for certain whether we are launching the, um, the Academy for Trustees at the same time as the rest of the librarians or not. That is still in discussion because um, there are some logistics involved in that. Um, but that's, that's really it before we get started looking in the Academy and getting just an introduction to what that is. And after that, and during that, if you have questions, after that, I will take any questions that you have. If I can't answer them, I will write them down and find an answer. Um, and yeah, really, that's it. This is just to get you oriented before you receive your invitation this afternoon. And then you can try it out and be our guinea pigs. And we really, really appreciate you uh, trying it out for us. So without further ado, I'm going to try to share my screen again and, and um, talk at the same time while I can't see myself. So let's see how this works. Here we go. Can you see my screen? Yep, looks good. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Um, Right now, the only way for you to access the SEKLS Academy is by going directly to the URL. And that is my.nicheacademy.com slash SEKLS. You will get this information. Don't worry about it. In the future, um, after we receive that feedback from you and we launch it out to the rest of the libraries. Um, there will be a, a link and or a widget from the SEKLS website 
Um, so you can just go to seks.org and get to the academy from there. Either way, right now, this is the only way you can get there. Um, I'm going to, I, I'm signed out so that you can see how we sign in. So I'm just going to, well, not even type in my email address and click next. And then I do my password. And right now we are in the student view of the academy. Um, all of the tutorials, which is what they call them, sometimes I call them modules, we call them lessons, some of them are just videos. Um, Nisha is calling them tutorials. All of them are set up in a grid like this on one side. And on the right side, we have these categories. So right now you can see all of the tutorials that we have available to you. Um, if you are not enrolled in all of them, which you probably should be, but um, I would imagine that we might not have, um, we might not have our trustees enrolled in all of our tutorials. You would click on my enrolled tutorials and that would show you just the ones that you've been assigned. If anytime you want to get back to that full page, you can either click all tutorials here on the right or up at the top of your screen where it says Southeast Kansas Library System Academy, there is an arrow and you can go back and that gets us back to that full collection of tutorials. The other categories over here, there may be more in the future. Right now we have them grouped as things like assessment and statistics, digital resources for library users, Google tools, and all the rest. Um, so if I clicked on Google tools, for example, that would take me to all of the tutorials that SEKLS has uh, loaded into their academy. Um, the ones that you see here, are not created by SEKLS. These are from the Niche Academy Marketplace. One of the huge advantages of using this Niche Academy platform is that we have access to uh, quality uh, tutorials and videos um, that's been created by other Niche Academy users. Um, so usually other libraries and sometimes, you know, actually Google. Um, and we can load those into our academy for you to use. I'm gonna go back to that front real quick. And um, just to note, I am not watching the chat right now and uh, do not have the uh, little thumbnails of your beautiful faces up on the screen. So if you have a question, please unmute yourself and, and just holler at me and I will stop. Um, let's go right here this one that says read me first before you get started. If, no, if you get nothing else from today other than you're getting your invitation this afternoon, get that this is the most important tutorial for you to go to first. So we're going to click on that one because this is some of that basic information um, about how our academy is working as well as uh, over here on the left, um, this recording will be living right here. Okay, so I'm going to go back to your introduction to continuing education in SEKLS Academy. Uh, I legitimately am going to just read this to you all um, because this is the information on uh, if you are a public library, which all of you are, how you receive credit for your allocation through, um, through the tutorials that we have available to you in our Niche Academy. So welcome to SEKLS Academy. We hope that our little corner of Niche Academy will help you grow in professional development at your own pace, at times that are convenient for your schedule so that you can continue to provide your library's community with the best possible service. This is, one of the things that was really important to us. Um, we do want to continue to offer uh, 
live webinars. We want to continue to offer and get back into offering um, in-person uh, continuing education for you. Um, but many of you have expressed that you like the online learning that we've been able to provide throughout the pandemic. Um, it's convenient for you. Uh, you don't have to you know, travel hours and hours. Um, and if we record it, you can do it at any time. Um, so we want to be able to continue that by offering these things uh, through Niche Academy lessons slash tutorials slash videos slash learning modules in the SEKLS Academy are ed eligible for continuing education credit as noted in the overview and or earn your credit section of each eligible, eligible lesson. We will see that in just a moment when we go into another lesson. In the earn your credit section, you will find a disclaimer about prior participation and earned and credit earned. It states, something like this. You may only complete this lesson for credit one time. If you or another representative of your library participated in the original live session or previously received credit for viewing the recording, you are not eligible to receive duplicate credit. You may refer to this lesson at any time for your convenience. So exceptions to this rule would include the person if it's not you, the person who previously received credit no longer works in your library and you have no longer completed this lesson before. So for example, um, if you have just been hired as the director, congratulations, um, but the person who was in your position before you um, attended one of the sessions that is included in our academy, um, if it's new content to you, and the person who learned it before is not there um, and got credit before is not there, you can receive credit for completing that module. The other exception is if you are a library trustee and the credits earned go toward your library's trustee training, not the library's total CE. If you are a trustee, you are earning credit for uh, the trustee training that goes toward your allocation. Um, if this also goes toward the library's total, I, I have not been informed about this, so that there may be a discrepancy there, but um, as of right now, we are going to look at it this way, okay? Because it's, it's important to us that the librarians get to do these um, trainings for credit, and um, don't hesitate to do it just because the library has already received credit from a trustee. This is important to note. Um, the interest group modules in the SEKLS Academy are not eligible for CE credit. These modules serve as a repository for meeting recordings, information resources, and a text-based discussion area for members to participate in between meetings. Any content within the interest group modules that is eligible for CE credit, such as a linked webinar, will be noted as such directly on that page. Okay, so if you have looked at information in one of the interest group modules, great. I know you're learning, but that's that's just resources that are there for you. Um, it's, it's the same way that you may read something from our professional development collection, but you don't get um, CE credits for that, okay? Um, otherwise, uh, credit for interest groups are earned through active participation in live sessions with your peers, just as we have uh, talked about when we first defined those as defined by your interest group facilitator. And if you have any questions, you contact me. Um, are there any questions so far? Okay, I'm gonna move on. So I've gone back to this main page. Um, let's see here. 
let's click on this this one here. This is a an SEKLS created um, module, a lesson for you. Instagram, a social media how to for libraries. I'm going to click on that and it takes you to a video. Um, this is one that was created during the pandemic uh, by one of our consultants. It's a 27 minute video. So it's worth 0.5 CE. Just like if you went to a half hour session, it would be worth 0.5 CE. Please see earn your CE section of this module for details. To navigate any of these modules, you go over to this right side of the screen. That's your little table of contents for the lesson, okay? So what you have is this video. It's embedded right there on the page. You don't have to go outside to YouTube. You click on it, you watch it, and then you go, cool, I learned something. And you go and click on earn your CE. After completing the video, please tell us about your experience here. And there's a link out to an evaluation form. I'm just going to click on it so that you can see it open up. It'll look like this when you open it. Fill it out in some minutes. Submitting this evaluation will ensure that you earn 0.5 CE for Instagram, a social media how-to for libraries. And then that standard disclaimer that we um, had quoted on the start here page. I'm gonna go back to the Academy and show you an example from, uh, from not SEKLS. Let's go to this one. This one is Google Forms. This one starts with a very brief video, 48 seconds. And then you go to the next section, which is, it starts automatically, but that's another brief video, about a minute and a half. Then another one called Getting Started. And, um, that is how the creators of this module set it up, just with these three sections. We have added this one down here, earn your CE. And here it's a little more complex than the uh, Instagram one that is that was created by SEKLS. Um, we want you to be able to demonstrate your learning here. So to get one CE credit. See, you've only watched, what was that? Maybe four or five minutes of content. For one CE credit, use the tools you learned in this module to create a form that you would find useful for your library. Send a link to the form to Amy for her to fill out and then complete the evaluation. So if you complete those two steps, you will earn one uh, CE credit for your library. And for all of these that we did not create, there is a little note down here that says it's from the Niche Academy Marketplace, just in case you need that context. Are there any questions right now? All right. Let me show you another example. Here's one that's under construction. This is our bed bugs module. Lots of fun. Um, and this one, the introduction, just says that this module is a repository for resources on bed bugs. It's under construction. Um, right now, there is nothing here that qualifies for a continuing education credit. Okay, it's just resources. Um, but there is a note that says in the future, there may be a video or activity, some kind of um, active tutorial, right? Uh, that would qualify for CE credit. Over here on the side, all we have is the one resource. Oh no, I'm gonna say retake tutorial. Yes, I want to reset it. This is, and I may need to change how that's set up. Um, if you click on it, it downloads and it is a, um, 
a PDF of, of a slideshow uh, with great information on uh, bed bugs in your library. I'm not gonna click on all the slides because it, guys, there are pictures, it's pretty gross. Um, but it's important information, okay? And in the future, we can also have information here about, um, oh, well, see, this is a learning curve. There we go, view tutorial. There we go, yep. I'm gonna to need to change how this one is set up. So after we get off here, I'm going to unpublish this and um, make it so that it can be viewed multiple times. Um, but we will be able to add information about um, the little heat, little hot box tent thing uh, that SEKLS can loan to you for um, killing your bed bugs. Um, all of that sort of stuff, any any sort of user manuals and things like that, we can add to this um, so that you always have access to it. I see there's something in the chat. Sharon, that's fine. I don't even remember whether or not uh, I did registration for this. So uh, we're, <laughs> we're all cool. Uh, I'm going to go back to the main page. and find another example here. Let's go down here. This is our small but mighty interest group. There's just a little introduction here that says what you can find. Uh, as you can see, it's just as we defined it on that um, start here page. It's meeting recordings, it's information resources, it's a discussion area. Um, over here on resources, that's where the resources are gonna be. Um, if you have resources, for example, if you're in the Small But Mighty Interest Group and there's something that you want to share with your peers, um, but it's something that's bigger than just a um, text discussion that you could do below, like if you have a PDF or something, or you have some photos, um, or it's a longer discussion, um, send it to me and I can put it in our resources, okay? And down here is our discussion section. This one is getting to know you. I'll start the conversation here, uh, but let's find one where we've already started the conversation. Where did I do that? I'm gonna click on finance interest group because I know there we go. Here I've already started the discussion. Um, I just submitted, uh, there will be a box down here for you to type into. I'm gonna click join the conversation. And so you can just start typing things in here. Hi, this is the Zoom for intro to niche. And it's gonna show there. Okay. Do we have any questions right now? It's fairly easy to navigate. You don't really have to go anywhere else. Um, but if you wanted to, there is a little search here. Um, let's see what comes out of it. Let's try. Ooh. Okay. This is showing us all of the um, tutorials in our academy that have uh, Google as <laughs> part of the content. Let's also, let's try library. Okay, so if, if in the future, we just have so many tutorials that um, you just wanna get to the point, you don't want to scroll through all the squares, you don't wanna go over to the right side and guess what category it might be in. Uh, 
use that librarian brain to put a search term into this little um, magnifying glass guy right here. And that will um, help narrow things down for you. Um, I'm sure that there are some other things to go over here, but for right now, I'm going to take myself out of sharing so that I can see all of you and see if you have any questions for us. And this is just a reminder, if you're with us live today, uh, don't forget to put your name and your library in the chat so that I have you for attendance so that you get credit. And if you have just joined us, you will be receiving um, an invitation for Niche Academy this afternoon in your email. Any questions? Okay, great. Um, thank you, Susan. All right. Uh, does anybody from SEK have anything that they want to say about <laughs> Niche Academy? Um, maybe how you you plan to use it, um, anything like that. Hate to put you on the spot. Well, I can say, I know for us, um, for me, Seek and Find these stuff, uh, uh, it'll probably be a good place to store things like users group trainings, users group meeting notes, that sort of thing, a central location that's easy to search and navigate. Um, we also talked about kind of upping our cataloging training game with it. So um, since it is kind of like a learning environment where we can give you tests and make you do things and we can react to that, um, we'll be able to use that sort of in place of in-person training for cataloging. Um, so we're gonna try that out at least and see if that's an alternative to having you wait for us to come train you on, on things like that. Yeah, and I would say a lot of the stuff that you currently go to the continuing education page for is gonna be replaced by this. Uh, we have a question from Susan at Pleasanton. Um, she's asking, will we receive an email invite to both of our email addresses? We have one for the director and one for the CERC staff. Susan, right now the soft launch is only for our library directors. Um, so today you will uh, you'll be receiving one for the director. Um, after we fully launch this for um, all of our libraries and librarians, um, then you will be receiving um, an invitation to, uh, to that other email address. Okay. Any other questions right now? Again, I really appreciate all of you being up for uh, trying this out with us. And I also uh, appreciate this opportunity to be going through the student side um, of our academy and seeing places where I need to change things on the editor side uh, so that they function well for you. So um, it's, it's a good learning experience for me uh, to be sharing this introduction with you. Okay. Well, I'm going to open it up uh, one more time and browse around just a little bit so you can see again what they look like. And then uh, we'll try to take questions again. And after that, if there are no questions, uh, we can go ahead and log out. You still, even though it's only been, no, it'll be a little bit over a half hour, um, you will receive one uh, CE for uh, attending this, or if you're watching it at home later on, uh, you will receive one CE for um, watching and learning. Okay, 
So I'm gonna try sharing my screen again. There we are. Here's another one that is uh, not created by us. This is an Excel tutorial. This one is massive, okay? Um, this is not an advanced look at Excel. It's pretty basic, um, but sometimes, sometimes basic is good. There's a lot of information in it. Um, all of these are videos here on the side, except for where it says, try it. These are going to be little activities for you to try. So you do get some hands-on learning with this one. And that's exciting. I'm gonna scroll down here. See, there's, there's a whole bunch here. Um, this one also includes uh, a quiz that was created by the folks who made this tutorial. Um, so it's just a series of questions, five questions. And um, after you answer them, you hit submit. And down here at the bottom, you'll see the one that you really need, the one that's called earn your credit. So after you've completed the lesson and the quiz, you submit your evaluation. Um, even though this one's kind of intense, it's still a, it's a one CE um, module for you. But um, I think I'm probably going to do this one myself. You know, I first took an Excel class maybe um, <laughs> 22, <laughs> 22 years ago. Um, and, uh, you know, not, not a professional exceller by any means. So uh, it's probably good for a lot of us. Um, if you have, I, I'm gonna stop sharing for just a moment. Let me figure this out. Okay. If you have um, suggestions for uh, topics that you would like to be covered, um, things that you think it would be useful for us to have tutorials or videos or just uh, resource files for uh, within the academy, just email me, let me know, and um, we will try and get that built. Um, because if you need it, chances are somebody else in the system needs it too, um, and it would be it would be useful to you. And that's what we want from this is for it to be useful um, to our librarians. Um, now, as I mentioned, uh, this, this is just for the directors right now of our public libraries. In the future, when we have our trustees enrolled, we will have um, some trustee trainings available. Um, and those can be used toward their um, trustee training credit for your allocation. Um, we, we still encourage uh, going over that trustee manual and all of that stuff and doing an orientation with your trustees and even inviting us to come and visit. Um, but uh, having this available for them, again, will make, make things a little more convenient for everybody. Um, if you have a board who likes to do stuff you know, outside of their board meetings, then this, this would be a good resource for them to do that. But you could also um, go through one of the tutorials with them as a group, you know, on a big screen or whatever, right, during a meeting, um, and that would work as well. Do we have any questions before we get moving on? I have one. Um, so I, you backloaded that social media one. Are you guys going to go through and kind of backload some of the other quality stuff that we have? And then and then moving forward, I assume anything we do is going to also come up on Niche. Yes, we are. Um, yes, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit at a time. Um, yes. So in the future, as as we complete things like this, 
um, they will end up in niche. Um, they're still going up on YouTube because niche has, has it set up where we can just embed uh, a YouTube video right there. So um, it's not, it's not hosted on niche, you know, it's not taking up any space there. A question from Bonnie. Uh, Bonnie asks, will we be able to explore the actual Niche Academy to see what trainings are available or only access what is loaded onto SEKLS Niche Academy? This is a great question. Let me explain the difference between the SEKLS Academy and um, Niche Academy more broadly. Um, because of the contract that we were able to negotiate with Niche Academy, um, all of our tutorials, all of the tutorials inside the SEKLS Academy require a login. You have to log in to access them. Um, they are not open to the public. Um, in order to access a whole bunch of other stuff, but maybe not necessarily get credit for it, we can discuss that at a later date, but see the other things, right? Um, you do have access to Niche Academy through the State Library website. Um, I believe that they have a little widget, but let me take a look. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen again. <gasps> Okay, this is the website for the State Library of Kansas. It's actually the one that is right to your uh, public library survey and state report because that's my uh, favorite website in the world. Um, but see over here on the right side, there's this little green thing that says tutorials. Even if you're on the main website and as you scroll down, it's still there. This little green guy that says tutorials. Click on that and that is a list from Niche Academy, the one that uh, the State Library has built. So I'm going to get rid of the categories and you can see um, all of the different stuff that uh, the State Library of Kansas has loaded up. Well, whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm going to I'm going to close this and stop sharing for just a moment. It, it may also be that you have access to the marketplace. It looks, it looks like you do because I am in, I'm in student mode right now and not edit mode and I can access it. So I'll show you. And then y'all try this after you log in. Okay, and if it doesn't work, tell me, because I don't know whether my student moan is different from yours. So up here at the top, on the right, you see these little icons. This, the one that's the little, um, what is that called, a mortarboard? It's a graduation hat. The little graduation hat is our academy. It says tutorials. The little bag, that tote bag, is the marketplace, okay? That's where we can pull some of the content um, from, other, uh, from other academies. This one is your settings. This one is the help page. Um, I find that really useful as someone editing it. Um, and this one is uh, your profile. Um, it probably, let's, let's click on it. So you can see like what courses you're in and that sort of thing. But I'm gonna click on the little tote bag because that's the marketplace. So you should have access to this. Um, logged in as a student. I have it, I have free only checked up here um, because I'm not wanting to pay for anything extra right now. Um, and you, I mean, you can scroll through it. Right now it's uh, listed alphabetically. You can also go here 
just like you can on our academy and do a search. I'm going to try one for like customer service. So hypothetically, we could uh, review this one, right? And decide whether or not to add how to handle angry customers to the SEKLS Academy. Um, you will find other things like this one, for example, from the Pioneer Library System in Oklahoma um, that is specific to whatever institution it is that, um, that built that tutorial, right? So this may be interesting to you. It may be something that you find useful to um, translate some of that language for your own library if you're um, you know, working on your policy manual or a strategic plan. Uh, there might be information in here that would be useful for you. But something like this, I wouldn't choose to add to our academy because it is specific to that library system. So, so yes, uh, you should be able to access all of those other things as well. Um, the, one of the purposes of our little landing page here is to make it less overwhelming, right? There's, there's less of an information overload here. Um, this is kind of a curated collection. Um, and in addition to that, you have the content that we created that you won't find somewhere else. I'm gonna stop share. So, great question. Anything else? Um, Amy? Hi, Dave. Um, now, when the directors log into their own account and they go into the general section of niche, uh, can they add what they want to their own login page type thing? That doesn't go to the SEK account, does it? That goes to their own specific login if they wanted to add something extra. Do you mean like add content to the Academy or? Well, to their login. To their login. So what kind of information would that be? I'm trying to understand your question. Well, like um any of the other free stuff that we don't have on the mm -hmm. sek niche academy site i don't know if can can they add other content or do they just have uh the ability just to to view the module hmm. like for the extra free stuff you know, that niche has in the marketplace? That is a great question. I'm looking at it now. Um, the problem that I'm seeing here, remove tutorial, um, is that I'm not sure whether the student page I have is going to look like the student page that y'all have. Um, so I would request at this time, uh, until, until we figure that out, please don't click add. Um, when, when I clicked add just now, it added it to our academy page. I took it off, uh, but um, that doesn't make sense to me. So Dave, this may be a question uh, for, for us to take to niche. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to write it down and <laughs> email somebody about it because that is uh, that is a concern. So, in other words, y'all, I'm not sure whether I was able to add that because I am actually an administrator or if it's really just a free for all. Good question, Dave. Thank you. Anything else? Okay. 
Well, um, after we log out today, like I said, uh, you will be receiving um, invitations from Niche uh, to create your account. And from there, you can get started exploring and learning. And um, again, this is, you're part of a uh, trial here, uh, a soft launch so that we can get feedback on uh, how, how we're using the platform uh, before opening it up to all of our libraries and our trustees. Um, again, there will be some feedback solicited when you come to annual meeting on June 3rd, and then sometime in that following week, uh, provided there aren't a bunch of time-consuming changes for us to make uh, in that following week, we'll be opening it, opening it up to our other users. Uh, and if you have any questions after you log out today, which is bound to happen, it happens to me every single time, uh, just email me. And if I don't know the answer, uh, I, I'll figure out how to find it, okay? Uh, Sharon, Edna, uh, you've unmuted. Do you have a question, hon? Yeah, what was the login you told us we were going to need to log in um, on that? So the, the website that you're going to go to is my.nicheacademy.com slash S-E-K-L-S. And right now that URL is the only way for you to get there. It's not linked from our website yet because we're just that doing our soft lunch. I'm I sorry? was busy writing and I didn't, I lost you after the academy dot. You will get all of the information in uh, the invitation from oh, Niche Academy the, this afternoon. Oh, it'll okay. be in the invitation. Yes. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. You are so welcome. Any other questions? Okay, great. Um, I'm going to try and copy this chat so that I have your attendance. And that is it for us today. Thank you so much for coming. Um, and watch your inbox for, for that login invitation. Okay. Have a good one. Thanks, Amy. Bye.